All right, we're talking remote interior angles theorem here today, guys. All right, but first off, I'm the math professor, Kyle Martin. This is a channel where you do your math homework fast and accurately. So let's see if we can do this one fast. This one, the remote interior angle theorem says that if I have an, an exterior angle of a triangle, which means I extend one of those lines, then if I add these two angles up on the remote side, not the one next to it, but the ones remote or farther away, those are going to equal each other. All right, so what do I mean by that? Well, if I call this X, it's asking me to find the measure of angle ABC, right? So if I call it X, that's what I'm trying to find. I can take X plus 35, the two that are in the middle, and set it equal to their remote exterior angle, the angle on the exterior that's farthest away, in this case, 150. All right, this is just a matter of subtracting 35 over and solving for X. And when I do that, of course, X equals 115 degrees. All right, let's try another example. All right, guys, in number two, we have a little bit of a different problem. Here we have a bunch of these values. In the last one, we just had some of those degrees and we added up and we found X right away. Here, we're gonna have to be a little bit more particular about these, all right? So it's asking us to solve for X and then we also have to find each angle measure, which means we're gonna have to plug X back in to find some of those measures, all right? So real quick, I can still take my two inside values, the four X plus the other angle, X plus 55, and that's going to equal my exterior angle that's remote. In this case, 9x minus 5. All right, so real quick, let me solve for x for you. All right, so I got x to equal 15. So we got part of our goal done, x equals 15, but now I have to plug it back in to find each angle measure. For example, up here, 4 times 15, 4 times x is going to be 60 degrees. Or down here, if x is 15, then 15 plus 55 is 70. Now, we can also apply the same rule once we know what they are, right? 60 plus 70 is also gonna equal my exterior angle. And 60 plus 70, of course, is 130 degrees. Let's see if it works. Nine times 15 is 135. 135 minus five, of course, is 130. All right, so why does this work? Let's check it out. All right, so this works because if I take A plus B plus C, my three interior angles, that's just a triangle sum theorem. Any, any three angles on the inside of any triangle have to add up to be 180 degrees. All right, so I'll put 180 over here for A plus B plus C. Also, if I look at C plus D, when I extend one of those sides, this is that exterior angle, letter D, well, this also forms a linear pair, those two angles. And we know any linear pair also adds up to be 180 because they're along the line, right? They're along a the line. So then if I have these two things both equal 180, well, then they also have to equal each other, right? If they're both equal 180, that's the same thing. So they have to equal each other. So what I can say then is that A plus B plus C equals this, C plus D. Right? And this helps because they both include a C. So if I subtract C on both sides, they're gonna cancel, leaving me with A plus B equals D, which is exactly what the remote interior angle theorem says. If I have two remote, in, or two remote interior angles compared to my exterior angle, the sum is going to equal that exterior angle. Guys, I hope this video on the remote interior angle theorem helped you out. If it did, please like this video down below and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. We'll see you guys in the next one.